high water events from a professional point of view are very rare. These images are from high water in January 2011. But the last real high river water events, including evacuations, date back to 1995. On average, there is a real high water event only every 30 to 50 years. But these rare events are what the Dutch water boards are preparing for all the time. Experiences from managing real high water events are lost over time. That's why water boards need to simulate high water events and practice the inspection and safety procedures. My name is Hans Knotter. My name is Hans Knotter. I work for one of the largest water boards in the Netherlands, Rivierenland. We control over 550 kilometers of primary dikes from the Rhine and the Meuse rivers. Every year, we carry out a major exercise, sometimes in cooperation with other government organizations. In November 2011, we had such a major exercise, called Frieda. All levels in the organization and even volunteers are involved in the training. The core of our water safety organization is the local dike post. Several teams work around the clock in shifts. As a new team arrives, they will be briefed by the dike post manager. The head of the dike post coordinates the inspection and all personnel involved. Teams will exchange information about the current situation. Revierenland uses a well-developed set of surveying instructions and forms to assess and classify threats to dikes and levees. After instruction, the new team will go to their designated dike section and start the inspection. In this exercise, threats are marked by roadside signs. The team has to assess the threat, classify it, and contact the dike post to brief the local officer via phone. Here in the Achterland, here we have found a so-called pipe, water leaking through the dike. We will classify this threat and inform the dike post. The procedure of assessment into threat classes follows a method of classification using a specific form for each type of threat. A number of key questions have to be answered, with points given for each question. At the dike post, a similar form is used to record the findings. The information is entered directly in the central computer system called FLEWAS. The head office has a complete and up-to-date overview of all developments in the area and what actions to take. The total score will rank the assessment and the highest scores are reviewed by the head of the dike post. He has the authority to take local action. Larger threats are passed on to the head office. At the head office, Major events are processed by an information officer. I receive the information from the local dike posts, says Bram de Fokkert, information officer at the head office of the water board. We collect all data from the field and combine this with our information system. We monitor the water levels continuously. The complete event is coordinated by the water board action team, or WAT. The WAT team has the authorization to coordinate most of the larger events. Even larger threats with high impact are passed on to the operations team, or WOT. In case of a major high water event, multiple government organizations will be involved. At this level, coordination takes place at the Water Board Policy Team, or WBT. This level has the authority to decide on major interventions, such as an emergency demolition of a house on the dike or the evacuation of an area. Communication is vital. Internal communication must be precise and standardized. But also external communication with the general public is of vital importance. A large water board such as Revierenland can expect to get many calls from worried civilians. This is being trained in great detail. Moeten we gaan evacueren? Internet, social media and Twitter feeds are essential communication factors today. That's why we even simulate an entire media event. However, nothing can prepare for the impact of a real event. That's why learning from these rare events is so important. Goedenavond. De Noordwesterstorm en hoogwater hebben vandaag op veel plaatsen in Nederland tot overlast geleid. Maar...
In early January 2012, a winter storm called Andrea hit the Dutch coast. This storm caused a storm surge on the Wadden Sea. Andrea's rainwater could not be drained, leading to high water in local rivers and canals. We are here at the town of Voltersum, where we observed water leaking through the dike, says Peter Lalkins, dike inspector for the Northern Water Board Noorderzeilvest. As a result of high water in the canal, the dike here is saturated. This causes a process called piping to occur. Water flows through the dike. This pipe here also transports sand particles, a major threat to dike stability. A dike breach could be the result. We put sandbags around the pipe to create pressure on the water flow. This phenomenon is a very rare occurrence in the northern provinces, and more likely for an area such as Reverinland. Eventually, the small town of Voltesum had to be evacuated as a result of this weakened dike section. My name is Aarte Weinstra. My name is Atta Weinstra. I am the Water Safety Process Manager at Waterskap Nordzeilvest, and at the time of the evacuation of Voltesum, I was the Operations Manager. The workflow at the Water Board Nordzeilvest is also organized through WAT, WOT, and WBT levels. With an evacuation as a result of high water, many government organizations are involved. The Water Board provides all major information, since it is the expert water safety authority. At some point, more than a hundred officers from Norderzeilvest and neighboring water boards were involved, with some key officers working round the clock, at night and in difficult conditions. From the evaluation of the events in Voltesum, we learned that we have to practice involving more professionals from outside our organization and to practice more at night. Working around the clock and at night is a real challenge with a major threat. Although everybody could safely return to their houses, many questions remained. Two weeks after the evacuation, the Water Board organized a meeting with all people involved, broadcast live on national television. The Water Board had to answer difficult questions. Within two months after the evacuation, the dike was fixed in a first phase of repairs. More repairs are planned, and they will be completed before the 1st of October 2012. The people in Voltesum are safe again. The lessons learned from this real high water event can be of benefit to all water boards in the Netherlands. You have to be prepared all the time. That's why practice is important, and there is no better practice than a real high water event now and again.